no matter how bare or meager, at the end of the day, you have the right to be able to say, I'm going home. And I don't care how funky of a day you had, man, if I could just get to my house, I don't care what it looked like. I don't care what the furniture looked like in there, but man, if I could just turn the key and shut the door and be in my house, that, that's just a moment of relief. I didn't have that. I wouldn't got me, your car's not a home. And ain't no moving around. Once you get in the front seat, you're pretty much there. It was very, very difficult, man, but uh, it put a determination in me too, because I was determined. I was determined to be something. And my dreams of being a TV personality was bigger than, you know, I was homeless, man. I mean, you know, you're in a position where you're going, I got nowhere to go except up. I might as well keep hustling. I was in comedy. I just wasn't making nothing. All the money I was making, I was sending back home to my wife and kids. That didn't last long. She got tired of that real fast. But I couldn't go back to Cleveland because I wouldn't have enough money to drive back down south to perform. One time I drove to the house in Cleveland. I finally got enough money. I drove to the house in Cleveland and everybody was gone. I didn't see my kids for almost two years. I ain't see her, nothing. So they just left, boarded up the house. So next thing you know, I'm in the car. I live there, but it taught, me, it taught me determination, man. I'm a really, really determined person. It also taught me that no matter what happens to you, it ain't over. As long as God wakes you up, that means he ain't through with you yet. And if he wakes you up, you got a shot to correct it and get it right. And he kept waking me up. So I figured, okay, God wakes you up. That also means that he has something for you that you've yet to receive. So as long as he was waking me up, I figured what else? He can't take nothing else from me. I ain't got nowhere to stay, so. I, I, just, I just kept asking. It drew me closer to it, because I had nothing else. He had to take everything from me to get my undivided attention. So he did it. He took it, stripped me down, I needed, I needed to pay attention to him. I had to remember what my mama taught me as a Sunday school teacher. So he took everything from me. And I had nothing but him. So I just talked to him all the time. I got, I got real strong in that car. You know, I learned a lot of stuff in that car. I think humility was, was a thing that I learned. Come from nothing. What we want to know is how you got to where you are after coming from nothing. How did you live in a car for three years and wind up on more TV shows than anybody? How did you survive flunking out of school? How did you survive all of that? We want to know that because in case something happens to us, we don't really have the information that you have or how to come from the back to the front, or how to come from the bottom to the top. So I get asked oftentimes to speak. What I told them was really compelling because they almost had to never hear it, because they never had to learn it. See, if you've never been in the bottom, there's some stuff you ain't never had to know. But all of you that have been in the bottom, you know it all too well, don't you? And so when I was telling them how I made it, I was telling them about the fortitude that I developed. And then I told them about the faith that I had. And that was really startling to them. Now, a lot of them are people of faith. But a lot of people who were born with a lot of money ain't really had to have a lot of faith. You understand? You have an idea of what it feels like. You've seen some kids get put in foster care. You've seen child protective services come to somebody's house. You've seen kids come to school with less. You might have been one of the kids that went to school with less. You have struggled to give your kids a better life than the one you had. They, they don't hear this. But I'm gonna tell you something right now. You can be successful without an education. You can be successful without coming from a rich family. You can be successful. I don't care what color you are, what faith you belong to. I don't care what's wrong with you. You can be successful.
You have got to tie your existence to your creator. If you don't tie who you are to God, I got news for you. You're going to forever struggle. Now, this is what I'm telling you is something you can do today. You ain't got to go to school to get this one. You ain't got to have no meeting with nobody. I'm telling you that if you solidify a relationship with God, you ain't got to ask nobody's permission. You ain't got to check in. He ain't got no line. You can go and form this relationship today, this evening, when you get home. You can shortcut this. I ain't got no education. I flunked out of school. I'm on my third marriage. I lost everything I ever owned twice. I had a severe stuttering problem growing up. I've been picked and teased my whole life. I've been homeless and lived in a car for three years. What you finna tell me? That I don't know about him. I will tell you what God can do. He can do anything. God can pick you up when you're at your lowest moment. God can take your existence and turn it around. Now listen to me, I ain't no preacher. I'm a street cat. But I got news for you. That's all you got to be. Because you know why? Because there's none perfect. No, not one. There are no perfect people. God got you some kind of way. Now the jumping requires faith. Now what is faith? Faith is a belief in things that you cannot see. If you can see everything, that ain't faith. You got to believe in something you can't see. Look man, when I started in comedy, I did not see this. I didn't see becoming the first African man to uh, host a beauty pageant of any kind. I was the first black headliner to start black radio nights around the country. I done had a machete in my hand on a lot of stuff. I didn't see any of them. But I had this little piece of faith though, that if I jumped, he would get me because I was miserable in my life. I didn't like waking up. I ain't have no purpose. I ain't know what I was supposed to be doing. But when I, on October 8th, 1985, I walked in a comedy club for the first time. Signed up for the following week. The following week, a girl took me down there. She said, you got to go to comedy club. You're the funniest person I've ever met. I never even heard of comedy clubs. I'm 27. I walked in the comedy club. I signed up for the following week. I'm gonna sit here and learn. I knew I was funny. I just ain't know what to do with it. They had 10 acts go up. Nine of them went up. I didn't laugh at one joke. I was just sitting there just, man, my wish that was me. Man, they should have said this. Every joke they told, I knew the punchline before they said it, and I wrote a better punchline in my mind what they should have said. It got to guy number 10, they called his name. He wasn't there. So they kept clapping, and I ran up. Long story short, I won amateur night that night. I won $50. It was a 45-minute drive to my house with this girl named Gladys. I cried 45 minutes. She said, what you crying for? It ain't but $50. I said, no, no, you don't even understand. I, I was born tonight. I now know what I'm supposed to do. I went to work the next day, October 9th, and quit my job. I had nothing. I just never gave up. I just kept believing that he was gonna put that air up under them sails for me one day. And finally he put that air up under that wind, that wind up under them sails. This ain't your life right here. This, this life you got right now, this ain't just it. You think this it? God ain't through with you. If God was through with you, he wouldn't wake you up no more. The moment God ain't got nothing else for you, you ain't gonna wake up no more. You lived your last day the day he got enough. Once you done served your purpose and ran your route, you out. If you do not include God in your life, man, you're making a horrible mistake. You're doing yourself a horrible injustice. You're making this way harder than it's got to be. God really does want to help you. He really does. He, but he requires that we have a relationship with him. All he wants is a relationship with you.
But I'm telling you, if you're trying to make it in this world without God in your life, you're making it way harder than it's got to be. I'm telling you, man, I did it. I did it without him. It does not work. I flunked out of school. I had a severe stuttering problem. I couldn't talk outside my house. I'm on my third marriage. I lost everything I ever owned twice. I've been homeless and lived in the car for three years. You can't tell me nothing about what he can't do for you. Nothing. Let me tell you something, man. I've been bottomed out. I'm talking about flat bottomed out. Nothing. I was talking today with my oldest son. He said, man, damn. I, every time I hear about something you went through, I just go, how did you make it? I just kept this faith, man. I just kept believing that God didn't bring me this far to leave me. I just kept hearing my mama as a Sunday school teacher saying little scriptures to me. It didn't dawn on me till I got older. I'm telling you, man, I didn't get a car in my name till I was 38 years old. I was 38 before I purchased my first car. 38. Come on, man. I lived in a car for three years. I had nothing, but I made a decision, man. I just started talking to God every day. I just started asking him for help to hear me. If you call God and you ask him to hear you, he hears you. Don't let nobody fool you. Come by your house, knock on your door, talking about it ain't no God. You think because somebody said it ain't no God, you think that make it true? God is real, man. Where you think all this stuff come from? How you think this world got formed? How you really think that's cloud formation? Where you think the waterfall come from? Who made all them animals out there? Who you think make that sun come up every day in the east and set in the west? And it ain't nothing you can do about it. Who do you think make the wind blow? You can't do nothing with the wind. You can't, you can't stop time, you can't, who does that? There is a higher power. There is a God. Listen to me, you better get in touch with it.